All right, Collector 007 here with a very cool pair of motorcycle sneakers. So this is a first, and this is something I found on Amazon one night, and you guys know I've been into motorcycling for the last couple of years now, and I got all of the accessories, tons of gloves, tons of helmets, tons of motorcycle boots, motorcycle pants, vests, jackets, blah, 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 blah. The only thing I never had uh, so far was motorcycle sneakers. And a lot of them keep popping up every time I log on to Amazon. And these came up and I read the review and quite frankly, I couldn't believe the price on them. So when I purchased these, um, they were like under 40 bucks. I think they still are under $40, something like that. For high quality motorcycle sneakers, I don't think you could go wrong. I see a lot of guys riding around wearing Converse sneakers or Vans particularly. Um, they don't realize, you know, they're really risking um, their limbs, you know, their feet uh, by wearing such flimsy shoes. When you're wearing a motorcycle, God forbid you have any kind of an issue, you want something with ankle support that covers your ankle and you want something with a strong base to it. These have a nice, very, very uh, sticky rubber base to them. Uh, or, or a grippy rubber base, I should say, and they also have a steel shank going through the bottom. So they're very, very heavy shoes. Um, the other thing about it you can see is they have this little plastic uh, grip um, point right here, so and grip, uh, shift lever um, part right here. So whenever you put this, uh, whenever you're shifting gears, instead of ruining your, your good shoes or boots and having the mark, you got this little rubber part right there, so when you shift up or shift, uh, well, shift down or shift up, you know, you use these. So they put them on the left or the right side, I guess, if you um, have a bike made uh, overseas, sometimes the shifter is on the right, but in America, a shifter is on the left. So very, very cool. These are in the black color. They also make them black and red. Um, they make them in green. They make a whole bunch of, you know, super wild colors if you want, which is probably a good idea. You make you more visible, but I went with the plain black and gray. Um, the other thing is they, they come with this uh, inside zipper, so they're really easy to put on and off. You just like slide your foot on. So basically I have these untied right now and you got this little leather tongue right here, which originally I wasn't really sure what it's for, but it's just a, a protector and it just keeps everything nice and tight. So when these are zipped up, um, this protector just, you know, keeps the tongue um, really high and, and again, keeps everything nice, nice to it. Um, right on it, it says JZ, JG Wolves on it for the brand. So I'll leave the link below, but um, it also says Buffons or something like that. Um, they are made in China, so I'm not sure what the exact name is, but um, uh, I'm just, you know, giving you guys what I think is a deal alert to get, to get a pair of quality, and they are quality, um, motorcycle sneakers where the rest of them in the 100 to $150 range for these, like I said, under 50 bucks. How could you go wrong? I, I wore them once or twice, so there's, you know, you'll see a teeny bit of wear on them, but very, very comfortable, and they really felt very sturdy. Um, you know, again, people, I don't know how they shift or, or, or break, uh, you know, with their right foot with, you know, flimsy, um, you know, shoes on it just, or, you know, or worse, some people even wear sandals, which is totally ridiculous. Um, so, um, to me, I think these are a great deal and that's it. So I just want to share these with you. I'll leave the link below. Um, not the market say, you know, when I find something good, I li like to show it to everyone. So, all right. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care.